Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, does this happen to you? You open up your rear deck lid or your engine lid on your VW Beetle and you hit the bumper. This is very common on uh, with uh, using new aftermarket bumpers, aftermarket brackets, overrider tubes, that sort of thing. So we found a box of these uh, retainer plates. These are body mount retainer plates uh, that uh, hold down the body to the chassis to go by the gas tank area. You can get these from SIP1.com if you do not have any and they're brand new. You buy four of them for the bumper and you're going to want to put them in between the bumper bracket and the bumper spacer. The retainer spacers, okay, that you see there, those silver ones that are uh, curved and put them in between and what this will do is push the bumper outward a little bit so the deck lid will clear. So you can paint these up later, we're just test fitting it for now and you want to put the nuts on very loose, just finger tight. And You see I'm pointing to them in between. So again that moves the bumper outward just a little bit more so it clears. It's just very common on the uh, teardrop style deck lids, usually 66 and earlier uh, hit the bumper. 67, they squared off the bottom of the deck lid, so now it clears, but the earlier uh, deck lids are known to hit the bumper. So usually this is a two-man job. You want to be able to you know, get the bumper in, but I was able to do it myself. Just lube up the, the seals on the body, on the fender, so the, the brackets slide through. And when you slide through, just you know eyeball it for now, where the brackets line up to the bumper mounts, the, the bracket mounts that are on the body. And we usually tap the threads uh, on the body just to make sure our brand new bolts will go in finger tight for now just finger tight and then move the bumper out you'll see the bracket moves there okay move it out as far as you can because it's slotted that bracket and now you see the deck lid clearing the bumper just depends on what kind of bumpers you get um, these aftermarket ones are, are known for hitting and then once you tighten things down I'm going to show you something in a little bit what happens the overrider support tubes get bolted on and then you'll notice now since we had to make a space now that tube does not line up with the bumper mount the bolt mount on the body so what we're going to do is we're going to mark the position of that tube I'll show you what's going to happen in a second mark that position on the bracket and you're going to take this all out again and then grab that bracket and do it on both sides of course you want to mark and then put that bracket in a vise, 1964th drill bit, and we drive a hole through the bracket. This might be a little tough because that's three plates pretty much sandwiched there on the bracket. Uh, but uh, drill that right through, clean that up, and you'll see the hole there. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap some threads, 8 millimeter threads, basically a bumper bolt thread. We have this tap always on hand because we always have to tap. Uh, the threads on the body for the fenders. So get that 8mm tap and just go back and forth with some WD-40 and cut threads in that bracket until you're all the way through like this. And once you back off, get a bolt, 8mm bolt, usually with a 13mm head, and start screwing that bolt through the bracket. Just to test fit. You want to cut it good and make it so it's nice and loose and you have uh, plenty of good threads there. So then reassemble your bumper like we did before, just like this. And now when you slide everything back in, you're going to put the tube through the fender, the overrider support tube. There's our new hole and you're going to grab yourself a bolt and then bolt down that support tube. And there you go. Now you got strong support. Nothing's going to break, nothing's going to bust, and uh, you know, nothing's just hanging there. So uh, then get your bumper bolts and start assemb uh, assembling here and bolting things down and tightening up. You don't have to muscle those bumper bolts because a lot of times those bolts will dent the fender. You don't want that to happen. And then when you do a test fit and the test of the lid, plenty of clearance now. And there you go. You got any questions? Pop me an email, guys. Take care. Hey guys, just another friendly reminder that we will be hosting our second annual New York Air Cooled Vintage Treffen Sunday, September 30th, 2018 in Haverstraw, New York at Bowline Park. 
It is one Bowline Plant Road in Haverstraw, New York, if you do a Google search. I have information in, in the description below, a link uh, that goes to my website to give you more info about the air-cooled dub scene at the New York Vintage Treffin. It is a beautiful location, guys. I hope to see you there. Take care.